Hey guys, it's Will from uh, Share Your Passion Online. I wanted to talk to you about a, an email I got and explain a little bit about dividends, which I've talked about a few times on this channel. I recently got an email from the uh, my discount broker where I buy the stocks, and there's an announce here, and it says they announce a dividend, this Amera, and that's the amount here, 475. So that's 47.5 cents per share. So I had people that were telling me like, you know, they didn't realize, oh, you know, that looks like nothing, 47 cents, but it's actually per share. So the more shares you have, the more dividends you'll get. This is paid quarterly. So you're going to get four payments a year. And, you know, obviously if you had a thousand shares, you times it by a thousand, it'd be $475 times, you know, roughly four. And you would get that amount per year. And, uh, the the dividend will generally go up over time. I'll show that in, in a bit here. So every quarter, you know, it might not be exactly 4.75, 4.7.5 per share. It'll slowly increase. The other thing is when you hold a stock like this, which is a mature stock that uh, pays dividends, as you can see, the stock share price. This is just going back four years, but um, from thirty dollars here. To 45, so it's gone up. So you're also going to get capital gains from the stock price going up, because these these are stocks that that I've talked about before. They just they go up over time because people need these things, food, you know, food and medicine and things for your home, energy, you know, natural gas, whatever the typical uh, energy sources. So there's Lots of stocks that kind of have this, like toothpaste, you know, people need that all the time. If we take a look at um, the stock that I just showed you, which is Amera, um, here's the share price going down from nine, 1992, and its price was $11, and so you can see, you know, this is something that just continually continues to go up over time. You can buy a stock like this for $10 with a discount broker and you don't have to pay any more fees. Whereas, you know, mutual funds are always trying to time the market. And so down here is a graph. So I added the lower indicator of rolling dividends. So I could see this is a little tricky because the stock goes up and down. You can click on this and see the dividend, but it's hard to see visually that the dividend is going up over time. So this shows you the rolling dividend. So it went down from 19 cents, you can see, to you know, this is showing the uh, 40 cents. So you want to see that the dividends have continually increased over time. So yeah, the more, you know, obviously you need money to, to, to buy shares and the more money you can buy, you know, invest in, the more money you can invest and save, the more you can, you can buy. And then the more gains you'll get, the more return, you'll get a dividend yield plus capital gains over time. And uh, dividends are really tax friendly because they, the company pays taxes on its income, on its revenue, and then the money left over is often given back to shareholders. So it's already been, the income's already been taxed in the company, so you don't have to, you know, the dividend um, rate uh, isn't taxed again as much because it's already been taxed through the income of the company. And so when people get paid dividends in your own personal situation, what they do usually is you mark up your dividend. Let's, I'll just give you a rough example. You take the amount of dividends that you've received over the year and you up it by 1.3 and then there's a, a dividend tax credit. So a lot of times you can get 30, 40, 50,000 or more per year in dividend payments tax free. And I'm, I'm actually doing this myself. I, I only draw with, I only withdraw dividends out of my company and you know, there's basically no tax paid in my personal biz, in my personal account. So I, it's amazing, and that works in the U.S. and Canada, and probably other countries as well. Just because these have already been, this is after-tax income that uh, dividends get quite a good uh, treatment. So as opposed to income, if you have bonds or something like that, or a salary, those are taxed at normal income tax rates. Um, and so, and capital gains has a has a beneficial effect as well because they want people to invest in 
you know, real estate and things like that, which have a tendency to go up over time. So there's lots of benefits to capital gains and dividends as far as tax treatment goes, as opposed to some of the other sources like income and salary. So I hope that helps you guys. Just wanted to show you that it's really nice to get an email showing you, you know, that you're actually making money because a lot of times, you know, you buy a mutual fund, you hold it and it goes up and down and, you know, you may you may not make any money on this over time, but these are actual, this is real money that you get paid every quarter usually. And you can do what you, you can either spend it, you can reinvest it. Sometimes the stock has a reinvestment plan or sometimes you have to do it yourself. But um, it's good to see real money going into your account from these stocks that you're holding. So hope that helps you guys and uh, we'll talk to you in the next video.